thank you for clicking on to watch this video. My name's Natalie and I'm the Student Services Team Leader here at the College. The Student Services Team cover lots of different functions within the College, such as main reception, college switchboard, our course inquiry line, college admissions and the college bursary. So today I'm going to spend a little bit of time running through some of the frequently asked questions around our bursary and I hope you find this helpful. Bursary is a means-tested financial support tool that is designed to assist students with costs associated with the course. Now that can be uniform, materials, kit and any other essentials really that are deemed mandatory as part of your course. It can also help with things like travel support and free meals as well. Now there are different kinds of bursary that we do offer at the college which are very much dependent on your age and your personal circumstances. is means tested, we'll need to see evidence of your household income in order to assess your eligibility. Now each year the bursary criteria is subject to change and this is currently under review for the bursary for September 2020. But as soon as the information is available we will be posting it on the bursary page of our college website so please do keep an eye out on that page for those updates coming through. So applying is easy. We write to all applicants who have an offer with us for September and we send everybody a copy of the bursary form which you can complete and return to us. Now, best time to return these forms to us is around sort of before enrolment or at your enrolment, which is around late August or early September, which gives plenty of time for it to be sorted ready for when you start in September. Now, the bursary forms for September 2020, they aren't ready just yet. We're working on them at the moment. But they should be ready very shortly and they will be updated on our website as soon as they're available. Now because the bursary is means tested and we do base it on household income, it is important that when you do send your form in to us, you do include photocopies of your household income in order for us to get that process for you. On the application, there is a section that lists all the different types of income that we do need to see. And this can range from child tax credits, working tax credits, council tax, housing benefit, universal credit, wages, etc. As I said, it's on the form, so you'll see the list for yourself when the form comes through. Now, next to each of those pieces of criteria, it does give examples on the types of information that we need to see as well. So for example, if you're in receipt of child tax credits, we usually ask to see your awards letter from HMRC or we can accept a bank statement that shows three consecutive payments. So it can take up to three weeks for your bursary to be fully processed. Therefore, it's important that you try and get your form in as soon as possible. Now, forms are usually released around June, July time. So as soon as they're ready, you can go and download one from our college website. Or as I mentioned earlier, we will be posting all forms out to anybody who's got a place with us. As soon as you get that form or you've downloaded it, fill that in, send that back to us. And we can get that processed in plenty of time for when you start in September. So if you're over the age of 20 and would like to apply for support with childcare costs, you can apply for this through the adult bursary. So you do need to be eligible for the bursary in order to receive those costs. And we can fund up to £2,000 per child per academic year, providing that the childcare is with an Ofsted registered childcare provider. Now, if you're under the age of 20 and do require support with childcare, you can apply for this via the Care to Learn scheme. So that sums up our questions for today. I hope you found this information helpful. However, if you do have any more questions that you feel haven't been answered in this video and you'd like some more information, then please do give us a call. Our lines are still open and the number's 01246 500 500. Or alternatively, you can reach us via email on bursary at chesterfield.ac.uk. Stay safe and thank you for watching.